Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work and welcome to our unboxing of the Sony FDR-AX100 uh, 4K Handycam. This is the Handycam we saw at CES uh, 2014 from Sony. Retails for $19.99, so basically it's two grand. And this is their first um, real consumer line 4K camera. Um, this thing is pretty cool and let's go ahead and check it out. So packaging, all black. Sony logo, of course, on top it says 4K in the corner on the right hand corner of each side of the box. Model number is FDR AX AX100. On each side, you can see the panel in here. It's got orange, shows you some of the accessories you can get for this. And at the back, you can see some more stuff here. This is a Wi Fi certified Handycam. Um, it's got the XMOR sensor, it's got a one inch sensor in there. Uh, supports uh, AVCHD Progressive, Dolby Digital 5.1, 4K, uh, Full HD, 1080p, HDMI, multi interface uh, camera. Let's go ahead and open this up. Pull this back, see what we have in the box. Yeah, from Sony. So, got your limited warranty information. Got your uh, Sony consumer warranty information in here. Some handicam accessory info. We also got some info on Sony Movie Studio, and uh, some more Sony stuff in here. Then you've got your user manual, which I suggest you keep around because you might need this. Uh, digital 4K, digital HD video, in English, Spanish, different languages. Pull this up. All right, let's see what we have in the box here. So, first thing, we've got a USB cable extender. It says Sony on there. Next up in here is a power plug, just probably for the charger itself. Comes with a set of HDMI to mini HDMI cable, so it does have HDMI support on here. You do now have your charging brick and of course the proprietary charging port for the camera. It comes with a standard remote control, which is nice. So you do have a remote control for it. And the control here has options for record, photo, data code. Uh, you can zoom in and out. You've got some playback controls and of course just some uh, menu cursor controls uh, to enter and go into your different menu options in here. What else do we have in here? We have the battery. Let's see if we give it a size on this battery. Uh, Sony battery. This is a uh, 1960 milliamp battery. So we we'll see how, how well this battery handles, especially recording 4K video content. We've also got a um, wide lens uh, mount here. So. That's pretty nice. We'll attach that and show that later on. So let's pull this out. So here's the camera. Here's the whole build. This is how it looks like. Um, on, on the left hand side, you can see a couple of things. You've got your iris button, gain ISO, shutter speed. You can do these manually. It's manual controls. Uh, you've got your AF MF here. You've got your zoom and focus. Uh, um, button so you can actually switch and change whatever you're doing. Carl Zeiss logo 4K right here. Um, open this up. You can see this is where the mini HDMI goes. Uh, this is also where the headphone jack goes. That closes up for you. Uh, this thing basically has a one inch um, uh, CMOS lens here. Very nice. You can see it's also got your infrared IR blaster in the front because you can use your remote control with it. Uh, open up the front flap here. We have our power button, white balance, program A, night shot, display, play. Um, not sure what that button is, but we'll find that out. There's a speaker here, your LCD. We'll power this up in a sec. This is where your SD card goes into. We threw one in there quickly as we cut through. This is the Kingston 64GB SDXEH. This is built for 4K video content. I suggest you use that. You can check out our video on that very soon. Um, and that's what it also will support memory stick too. Now the back here, you have your auto manual switch. Again, uh, another your auto manual switch. You've got your ND filters off and on. It's where your battery will go. So basically, you can connect that there. Now, as I mentioned, this thing shoots at 4K, 
um, shoots 4K video. It also shoots uh, at, um, you, you can record also at 1080p, 4K at 30 frames per second. Also shoots out uh, slow motion, basically 120 frames per second. Um, this is where your DC input is to charge, uh, start, stop for recording. Um, this is a switch between camera and um, um, video, I believe. There's a camera video switch. And then this is your photo button on the very top to take photos, and you can zoom in and out. You've got a hot shoe here on the top, which you would expect. So you can actually, of course, mount, of course, either an external mic if you want to, or maybe some lighting. This has got a 5.1 stereo mic. So the first couple of recordings we're going to do with this, we're going to use this microphone on here. Test the microphone on there to hear how it sounds. Uh, this is also Wi-Fi enabled um, uh, camera, so you can do transfers with Wi-Fi as well as NFC to transfer photos. So you can transfer between smartphone and the camera via NFC. As you see here on the right hand side, you have the mic port, also the multi port here. And you've got your focus magnifier button right there. You've got the USB transfer cord, which is tucked into the the grip of the camera. Uh, that's why you have that extender. You can of course mount it on a on a hot shoe if you choose. And um, it's of course the lens cover here, which is very, very important for a camera like this altogether. Um, very solid, uh, just a solid build feels, you know, feels like a solid camera overall. Now let's, let's put this battery in here and uh, let's turn this bad boy away in and see what we get when we power on the system. So English language, of course, selected. Next, region, uh, New York, that's fine. Um, daylight saving, saving on. Next, uh, month, month, day, year, year, day, month. Uh, we'll do month, day, year. Um, um, so far, the touch screen seems pretty in April, and uh, the date is the 3rd of April, 2004. Uh, current time is, I believe, 5.48, so let's change our time here. Hmm. No, not AM. There we go. So you have to cycle through for AM and PM. All right, daylight savings, hit OK. Boom, and it brings us into the software. Uh, fix out of that, we don't need it. Got 32 minutes of battery in here, so we do need to charge this bad boy. Might be covered, yes it is. So we hit menu, see what we have here. We got shooting modes, camera mic, edit, playback, image quality size, setup. And you can see 30 frames per second, file format, 4K. So we do have 4K file format. We have AVCHD and we have AV, uh, XAVCS HD. So this is the super fine HD I was telling you about. So we do your sample, we give you a sample of that also. But we're going to do, of course, 4K. You can see a very simple menu system, so it doesn't become too complex uh, for most people. Uh, and again, you can see some other modes here on the right. So we'll get into all these details as we as we deal with this and uh, check out the different shooting modes, movie, golf, and all that fun stuff with the camera. So uh, that's pretty much it with for the Sony uh, 4K, uh, handy, uh, 4K Handycam, basically the uh, FDRX-AX100. If you have any questions about this, uh, let us know. Leave your comments below. And also, uh, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video. Uh, and do subscribe to Border Work, the top right-hand corner of your screen or in the description below. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.